intake that flows on the outside of the head and an exhaust that flows on the inside. Ford 6.7 power stroke. The number one thing you'll probably notice if you really looked at this thing is we are used to seeing a exhaust manifold on this side of the engine, right? Super close to the frame rail. Also equally just as hard to get out as it is close to that frame rail. It's a real pain in the ass. Flop this engine backwards of what we are used to thinking of. We have our up pipe here coming, feeding the turbo off the manifold, which is on the inside of the head. Also is an intake on the inside. See here? This valve cover right here is really more than just a valve cover. It is also a part of your intake. See these channels of this valve cover? One, two, three, four. That is not a coincidence. We have four because we feed our intake down into the valve cover and then we push the air to the outside of the head. So we have an intake that flows on the outside of the head and an exhaust that flows on the inside. Even that heat closer to the turbo makes it work better and it also adds for a better overall design of this engine.